Okay, ask me why I'm holding these pyrite cubes. Why are you holding those pyrite cubes? So you asked me to do a video about light and why crystals shine. And we'll get to that, but I want to do a deep dive into the metallic ones. So this is a really, really cool fact that I don't think you guys know. With most crystals, do a pan on the shop here, show them what crystals look like, quartz and things like that. You've got covalent and ionic bonding, which are forms of chemical bonds. With metallic crystals, you have metallic bondings, and this has to do with how the electron reacts with the atom. The metallic one is cool because the electrons are free flowing throughout the surface, and I'm gonna explain why this makes metallic stone shiny is it's the same concept with those electrons flowing freely. Uh, that's why you get conductive electricity and heat dispersion throughout metallic, uh, metallic things like copper wire. Thing, um, but why it helps with light is that they act like little mirrors and they can oscillate at the same frequency of light. So when you get that electromagnetic field hitting a metallic mineral, those free electrons are going to bounce the light back at the same frequency because they're free to vibrate and do so. So that's what makes metallic minerals shiny, is that free electron flowing, or the free electrons flowing all over the surface. I thought that was pretty cool.